Welcome everybody to Communication Skills, Clarifying and Repeating Information. This resource is designed to provide learners with a strategy for clarifying information in order to avoid forgetting or misinterpreting instructions. Now in the literacy world, we often hear from employers, managers and supervisors that when they give instructions, the people that they're speaking to often don't clarify or repeat those instructions, and so they of course assume that the instructions have been understood. However, as time goes on, they quickly discover that the employers have not understood fully the instructions. We also hear from employees who are given instructions and yet often struggle to remember all of those instructions and yet they lack the confidence to ask for them to be clarified or repeated. And the end result of this, of course, is a loss of confidence from the employer to the employee and the employee often loses confidence in themselves. The problem. Information given verbally is often not able to be recalled due to the effects of anxiety. Now anxiety erodes the memory and this can spiral out of control very quickly for learners if they become overly anxious. Too much information given at one time and this is often a result of not clustering information into groups and trying to remember a sequence of instructions and again it just becomes too much for the working memory to deal with. And the last one there, misunderstanding the vocabulary, very common with ESOL learners, and it's often due to the supervisor using vocabulary that the employee is unfamiliar with. Solutions. Well, there's two strategies that can be used very easily by learners, and this is either to, one, ask the speaker to repeat the instructions again, and two, to repeat the instructions back using their own words. Now the second strategy is by far the best strategy. It means the information has been understood and the learner is able to repeat it in their own words, a very good sign. And while these two strategies might seem very simple for those of you who are confident enough to do this, if you lack confidence, both of these can be very challenging. The strategy. The strategy is for learners to internalize phrases that can be used in a variety of workplace situations. The phrases can be memorized by learners until they become a comfortable part of their speech repertoire. In other words, we're going to give the learners some prompts that they can use and they're going to become comfortable using these prompts in real life situations. Well, there's two types of prompts and just imagine we're using these in a meeting situation and the supervisor has just given a list of instructions. A prompt for the less confident might be, could you just go over those instructions one more time? Now a prompt for the more confident learner might look like this. So just to clarify, you want me to, and then the learner repeats in their own words the instructions. So have I got this right? And then repeats the information. Just to check that I've got this, and then they repeat the information. And you can see that just by giving learners these sentence starters, these prompts, they develop confidence to be able to ask supervisors to either repeat the information or they can repeat the information to the supervisor, in which case the supervisor can clarify that they have the right information. So now let's look at an activity you could use to develop these skills. Instructions. Number one, set up a scenario in the class in which you are giving a range of instructions. And in this case, you might take the role of a supervisor, for example. Write down the instructions first. It's a good idea to do this because you can have them recorded in front of you. And be sure that there are enough instructions to tax the memory of most learners. This activity is better if you're able to contextualize them to a specific vocation. Number two, give the instructions verbally to the learners. Now, the best way to do this, I've found, is for the learners not to take notes. However, you could also do this if you wanted to develop their note-taking skills. However, for the purposes of this activity, ideally you want them to try to cluster the information in their minds. Number three, Assign each learner a number and roll a dice to determine the learner who will attempt to repeat the instructions. So just to clarify, you're going to set up a meeting situation in the class. You're going to be the supervisor and you're going to give a series of instructions. You'll roll a dice and that'll select a learner at random. And it's the learner's role at that point to attempt to use a phrase that requests a repeat of the information. For example, could you go over those instructions one more time, please? or they can choose to repeat the instructions in their own words. So just to clarify, you want me to, and then they would repeat the instructions. Now what often happens is if the learner is not so confident that they can recall all of the instructions, they can use option number one. Could you go over those instructions one more time please? And then you as the tutor would repeat them. 
but if they're feeling confident, they can go for the full repeat. So just to clarify, you want me to, and then repeat them all. Now, one way you can gamify this is to give certain points to learners based on their responses. So the selected learner, if they're not feeling very confident that they can repeat all of the instructions, they might use the first prompt. Could you go over those instructions just one more time, please? And then you, the tutor, would repeat them, and the learner would get one point. But if the learner wanted to go over two points, they could choose to repeat the instructions in their own words. So just to clarify, you want me to, and then run through them, and then they would get two points. However, if they were unable to recall all of the instructions, then they get no points. So it has a little bit of risk attached to it, and of course the other learners are all listening and memorizing at the same time. In summary, providing learners with phrases that they can use to either have information repeated or to rephrase it in their own words, releases learners from having to attempt to memorize large chunks of information. And it also provides them with the confidence to speak up when unsure of instructions and to ask for a clarification. Now, while these strategies and prompts might be difficult to use in the first few instances, they quickly become assimilated into the learner's natural speech repertoire and are highly useful in real life situations. Mm -hmm.